welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do like a berry and gold eye so that's what I did <laughs> what was that I don't even know and then I paired it with like a darker nude lip if you guys would like to see how I got this look please keep watching Hey guys, so starting off this look, we're going to be using the Smashbox Primer Water, and I really like how this has been making my foundation lay on my skin. I just feel like it looks way better. And then on top of that, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer as well. These two together have seriously changed the way my foundation applies. I don't know, but I like it. And to cover up these red dots everywhere, they're not even pimples anymore, they're kind of like I don't know what they are, but they're not pimples anymore, but I wanted to go in with a concealer before my foundation to help hide them, so I just used the Kat Von D concealer in the shade Light. Now for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and my Beauty Blender, and this is in the shade Porcelain. Then to brighten up my under eye, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I feel like I always say it backwards, but you guys know what I'm saying. Then to blend that in, as usual, I'm using the, what is this, Morphe E45 brush. It's my favorite brush to use to buff in concealer. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Concealer, and I believe this is the lightest shade. I can't find it right now, but I will list it below. And I'm just making the upside down triangles. I'll be going down my nose, the center of my forehead, and my chin, all the usual places. And then I'm still buffing it in with the E45. BTW, I just looked and this is in the shade Very Fair. I believe it's the lightest color of these concealers. <laughs> I decided I would try something different for my nose contour today, so I used the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Bisque, and I don't know, I think this would be a good cream contour shade, but for my nose, I just didn't like it as much as my L'Oreal um, concealer sticks, so I don't think I'm going to use this again. And then I'm blending it out with my makeup brush, nose contour brush. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Concealer Stick in the shade Light, and I just wanted to fix that nose contour because it was looking a little crazy. So now I'm just blending everything together. <laughs> to set my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, Secret Brightening Powder, and I'm setting it with a Morphe M501. This is my favorite brush to set my concealer with by far. Then to lightly set the rest of my face, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and this big fluffy powder brush and I'm just lightly dusting this all over my face. I think I might do like a foundation routine so you can see exactly what I do when I do this part. We'll see. I'm doing my brows off camera and I just use the Anastasia Brow Powders. So going in with our first eyeshadow, we're taking this L'Oreal eyeshadow in 206 Mademoiselle Pink. I don't know why I can't say that. And I'm buffing it over my entire eyelid and I'm using a Morphe G17 brush. I really like these L'Oreal single eyeshadows. I think I have two or three and I kind of want to go get some more because I just really like them. They're pretty. Now we're going in with the Lime Crime Venus Palette, and we're starting off with the color Cretion, and my 
goodness, this palette is so pigmented. Like, you need to work in very, very little, little amounts. And I'm just buffing this into my crease with a Sigma E40. And I'm serious, like, I barely dip my brush in it, and it is so pigmented. I think I dipped it in there about three times to get um, the darkness that I wanted. The darkness, I said. <laughs> Moving on to the next shade, I'm taking the color Rebirth and I'm just working that directly into my crease and I'm using a Morphe G13 for that. It's just a more precise blending brush. Then I'm moving on to the shade Venus and I'm placing this all over my entire lid and I kept with the same brush as well. Now I'm taking this darker red color, it's kind of like a berry red color at the bottom, and it's the color Muse, and I'm using a smaller brush. This is the Sigma Crease Brush. It's the E47, and it's amazing for the crease. I think I've said that before, but I'm just switching between a bigger blending brush and the smaller one just so I can um, build up the color in the crease and then blend it out with get, without getting too crazy. Going back in with the Sigma E40, I'm just buffing around my entire eye just so we don't have any harsh lines. And then we're going to be going in with the shade Divine, and it's kind of like a transition color. And I'm just buffing this very lightly around the top, as you can see here. I don't know how to describe that. Above the crease, I guess you would say. I'm just buffing that all over. Then I'm going in with this darker brown shade, and it's in the color Icon, and I'm just placing this on the outer V, outer V, <laughs> and then I'm going to be buffing it out with a blending brush as you see here. And I'm going to go back and forth a few times just to get it as dark as I like. Now starting on our, what are we doing here? eyebrow highlight we're taking the shade Aurora I believe is how you say it. I'm not sure and I'm using this as a brow highlight and an inner corner highlight as well and I'm taking this Too Faced flat eyeshadow brush that came in the teddy bear set I believe and then we're taking the ColourPop shadow and Kathleen lights this is so pretty it's like the perfect like gold copper color and I'm using my pinky finger to place this all over my entire lid. Now to put a little bit more color and to get the outer corner and the inner corner, I'm using the Sigma brush. It's the shader lid E56. Now we're going in with that darker brown shade and we're building up the crease a little bit more. So moving on to the face, for now we're taking Lancome Bronzer in the shade Solaire, and oh my god, it is so pretty. And I'm buffing the bronzer around my entire face with the Morphe E3. I'm so obsessed with this bronzer. It's so good. <laughs> For blush, I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Champagne Pop uh, Palette, sure, <laughs> and I'm taking the shade Amaretto, Amaretto, I'm not sure, um, and I'm just placing this all over my cheeks, and I'm using a Morphe E4, and I wanted something that was more, how do I say it, like a medium rose color, I didn't really want any oranges since our eyes are kind of like a red berry color, and this is like the most perfect color blush like in the pan it's kind of deceiving but it looks so beautiful on the skin I really like it and I think it's a good everyday color blush too now for our wing liner we're using the NYX liquid liner in matte or I guess matte liquid liner I love this liner move over NYC liquid liner like this 
has taken your place. It is so good too. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just doing a normal wing liner as you see here. Now we're starting on our lower lash line and we're taking the shade Divine again and I'm using this Urban Decay Blending Buffer Brush. I don't think they make it anymore but it is also my favorite for the lower lash line because it's so soft. So I'm just building up that color for now. Then we're going to go in with the shade, wait for it, wait for it. Bam. <laughs> then we're going to go in with the shade Cretion again, and we're just going to be placing that on the lower lash line as well. Then just for the outer portion of our lower lash line, we're taking the dark red color called Muse, and here's me telling you, just a tiny, tiny bit, and I'm concentrating that color on the outer part, as you can see, and then just blending it towards the um, tear duct. Now for the waterline, just to tie in that Kathleen Light shadow, we're taking ColourPop's Get Paid Liner, and I'm just putting this in my entire waterline. For lower lash mascara, I'm just taking the Miss Manga mascara, and then I'm going back in with this darker brown shade right here, and I'm taking a smaller brush, and I'm just working that into the outer crease, as you can see right here. I just think it looks so much better when you do a wing liner, and then you have like that darker portion right there. I just think it makes such a big difference. For highlighter, I'm taking the Hourglass Brilliant Strobe Light and I'm using a Morphe M510 brush to highlight the tops of my cheeks. Then I always like to go back with my blush brush just to try to blend it all together. Now to contour my face and my nose, we're taking the Kevin Aquan Light Sculpting Powder. This is so good too. And I'm just contouring my nose with this. And then I'm also going to be doing my cheeks. And for my cheeks, we're going to be using the, oh, no, I'm sorry. We're doing the upper lip first. My bad. And then we're contouring underneath our lip to make our lips look fuller. Now to contour our cheeks, we're using the Morphe M437. This is a contour brush and I actually really like it. Now to clean up our contour, we're taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and we're using the two lightest shades. And I'm just, as you can see here, just buffing underneath that line to clean it up some more. And then I'm going to be highlighting my chin and my forehead just to blend all the bronzer and the contour shades together. Then I'm taking the shade Cretion, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, Aurora from the Lime Crime Palette, and I just highlighted my nose, my Cupid's bow, and I'm mixing a little bit of that on top of my cheeks as well. Then we're spraying our face with Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, and then we're working on the lips, and I'm using MAC Strip Down first, and as you can see, I'm just lining my entire mouth with this. <laughs> Then we're using NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Brooklyn Thorn. I wanted like a darker nude for the lip, so that's why I chose this color. And these liquid suedes are amazing, by the way. Like, I need all the colors stacked. <laughs> Then just to brighten up the center a little bit, I just took the L'Oreal concealer stick and I'm just patting it in the center of my lips. Okay guys, this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye!